Listen, I feel like we all can agree when we say that this picture here is a whole mood. Meg, party, continue to live your best life. But here's my issue with this picture. It made me realize a lot of these women don't have their own personality. In fact, they seek validation from celebrities. Because just last week, y'all were in cahoots talking about, as a grown man, why are y'all playing video games? Grown men who play video games are so unattractive. But now you want to toot it up to 2K. Now you want to get it clapping the Madden. Come on, bro. What are we talking about? Just last week, if your man turned on the system in the middle of the night, y'all be giving him the death stare like LeBron James in Game 6. But since Meg has made it a mood, now you want to play Call of Booty. Come on, bro. Be real. Y'all be doing stuff for the aesthetic. Y'all don't even be having your own personality for real. Y'all got to wait till Meg do something. But you already know she says she a big old freak. We know what time she on. Be like Meg. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Alex. Shout out to the Elite Fleet. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can become a member of Elite Fleet. And I want to talk about how Megan Thee Stallion does show how women tend to be hypocrites and you can't really take what they say but so serious. And it's not even a bad thing if you really understand them and how they operate and how they move. Because like dude said in TikTok, he's 100% right. He's like, dang, y'all was all saying real men don't play video games and I'm not gonna date no dude who play video games and blah, 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 blah. And now Megan Stallion takes a picture with her man on the game and now y'all are like, that's gonna be me when my man plays the game and da, 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 da. But you guys have to understand that's how women are because women are followers. Yes, women are followers. Not all, of course, but most. Now, the women are probably gonna come in the comments and go, not me, Alex, or not all of us. But that's what they're supposed to say. Women always think that they're different, okay? That's another gym for you. We're gonna talk about a lot of gyms in this video, okay? Gym number one, women always think that they're different. Every woman wants to be different than the next woman. They don't wanna accept that they're alike in any way, shape, or form, even though most of them are exactly alike. And we as men know this. See, with men, right? You can say things generally about men and we accept it about men. Like, for example, if you say men like sports, of course not all men like sports. But if I say men like sports, you're not going to see a man come in the comment like not all men like sports because it's generally accepted that men like sports. If I say men like video games, no one's going to say not all men. It's generally accepted. If I say men like Marvel and DC and superhero stuff and comic book stuff and animes, it's going to be generally accepted, okay? Whenever you say anything general about women, there's always going to be a woman who says not not all or not me or that must be the women you deal with that's just what they're programmed to say but i want you guys to understand something they're also programmed to be followers women are the biggest followers npcs bots whatever you want to call them most women do not think for themselves now in fairness to them there's a reason for that this is the reason for that because women are social creatures so you guys have to understand women have a need to they want to talk about their day okay they want to be social they want to speak they want to be uplifted and uplifted other people they want to talk about every little inconvenience that goes on like when i was when i was dating this one girl she would get realized that i wasn't gonna always pick up the phone because i was busy so she would bother her mom and she even told me she's like yeah i'd be calling you to complain but you don't ever pick up the phone so i just call my mom there has to be someone that they call and not just to complain it's also to hang out with or to tell that they met a new guy or share any news in their life but women are social like that right so because they're social like that they kind of can't go against society's norms because if they go too much against society's norms they're not gonna have anyone to talk to right like if all women are pushing being strong and independent and you're the feminine and submissive woman and you just run around saying that they're gonna be calling you pick me's they're gonna be talking about you you're not gonna be able to relate okay now some women are stand on that and still be themselves but a lot of women are just pretend that they believe in being strong and independent or they'll just be quiet and so they can blend in so they can still have friends so they can still go to their brunch on sundays so they can still have people to talk to okay you guys gotta understand that about them whatever they're saying on social media whatever they're saying in the music industry whatever women are generally saying women are generally gonna back up right so if strong and independent Independence being pushed, they're gonna all say they're strong and independent, okay? If men playing games makes them little boys are being pushed, that's what they're gonna do. Right now, thought culture and dressing and acting like a thought is popular. So what are most women doing? Dressing and acting like a thought. Why? Not because most of them believe in it. Believe it or not, when you really get to talking to women, most of them don't believe in thought culture. But they're not gonna say it out loud because they don't wanna argue and they wanna be socially accepted. See, we as men, we don't need that much social acceptance, okay? We got our core group of friends. Most men don't even interact with their friends that much. Like, for example, one of my friends has a baby shower coming up. Him and his wife having his first baby. It's going to be my first time seeing some of my homies in over a year when I go to that baby shower. It's going to be my first time seeing some of them who still live in the DMV area in over like six months when I go to that baby shower. Not because we don't care about each other. Not because we're not best friends. Not because we don't got each other's back. It's because we're men. 
we don't feel the need to constantly check up on each other. We have a group chat. We'll say, hey, how's everyone doing? How's the wife? How's the kids? Whatever the case may be. But we keep it moving, okay? We all got businesses to run. We got jobs to work. We don't need that constant validation. We know who our peoples are, okay? So we get together like once every quarter, like four times a year. Just the same thing with my dudes in New York. We'll get together probably like two times a year. My guys around here, we'll get together probably like four, maybe six times a year, depending on what's going on. But we're not going to always be together. We don't always talk to each other. Women, always together, okay? They go on the brunches together, okay? Every single weekend. They hit in the club together every single weekend. They're on the phone every single day or every other day. They, they need that. So to step out of the matrix and be a free-thinking woman and not move or say or agree with the stuff that most women move or say or agree with, it would take them out of that social norm and then they can't deal with that, okay? They can't stand that, all right? But they also don't want to accept that, so they're all going to tell you they're different. And we, like I said, we know that's not true. You go to a club, for example, anywhere in the world and most of the women are going to be dressed to the same. If you went to a club in Cameroon, if you go to a club in America, if you go to a club in the Dominican Republic, you go to a club in Barbados, you go to a club in Europe and Britain, doesn't make a difference. All the women are going to be there in skin tight dresses with heels and makeup on and extensions and weaves. That's it. It's going to look the same thing. If you don't believe me, go on any Passport Bro page and look at them when they go to the club and tell me it looks any different than the videos I got on my place when I go out here. It's the same thing. They dress the same, but they're going to tell you, I don't dress like nobody else. I get, they got the same abonics. All right, you go on a date and that. They're all going to say they're looking for something serious. They're not there for hookups. <laughs> okay, they want someone who's going to respect them and it's all about the connection. They're all going to say the same stuff. Like, I'll give you guys an even better example. One time, I was talking to my um ex and I was like um what's that y'all always say I was like not you asking for food after I always brought food right and she was like don't say you know I don't talk like these other girls don't put me in a box with those other girls da 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 like she went off about it she was upset right then she called me later that night and I sent her the voicemail because I was busy and you know what she texted me she said not you sending me the voicemail <laughs> This is what I'm talking about. They're not going to admit it, guys, but they're not that different, okay? They got the same slang, the same McBonics, and it's okay, okay? Most of them like pink and purple, you know what I mean? But they're just, they're always going to have a need to tell you that they're different, okay? And the second important thing that I need you guys to learn from this, and this is really the most important thing. I really should have said this earlier because this is the gym. This is why I told you guys when I said do men play video games, I said real men do whatever they want. As long as you're not letting the video game get between you and your money, okay, and absorb your whole life, and you're still giving attention to whatever else you got in your life, like your kids, your girlfriend or your wife if you have one, your job like I mentioned earlier, as long as it's not getting in the way of that and it's a hobby, it's no problem with it. Never do anything based upon what women are saying about it because at the end of the day, women make rules for betas and they break them for alphas. Y'all know I negate a lot of red pill talking points. I negate a lot of manosphere talking points, but that's absolutely true. And this is an example of it. See, Mac views her man as an alpha. So therefore, she's like, if you're playing a game, it's cool with me. See, women, when they view you as that guy, all right, when they like you or they love you or they just view you as that guy, they fall into their world, into your world. You don't have to adjust your world to them. Women are chameleons, right? Usually when we say that, we mean it in a bad way. But in this context, it's not in a bad way, okay? Women are chameleons in the sense that when they get with a man, whatever that man is about, they going to be about, okay? When my ex was with me, for example, now she liked the Giants before we got together, but it was like a girl like, which means that if she was at like a... Um, She's out with the guys or she was at a family function or something like that and football was on, she would root for the Giants. But she wasn't a major football fan. But when she got with me, she watched every single Sunday. She's right there on the couch with me watching every single game, okay? And she damn near became a Packers fan when she was with me. She almost forsake the Giants. She stayed a Giants fan, but she would watch every Packers game with me. I would watch Giants games with her. We would talk all the time, okay? When I would play the game, sometimes she'd play with me. Sometimes she'd just watch me play and comment on the stories and stuff like that. Now, I remember we got into it one time, for example, and because I was like, look I can only spend so much time you know I'm a busy man like you got to try to take advantage of the time when I'm here instead of asking me for more time and she said to me a very important thing a gym that I want to drop on you guys because what she said she said I do why do you think I always watch the football games with you and make food for the football games and why do you think I watch you play the game or I play the game with you that's my way of trying to get more time with you and that's what I'm trying to get you guys to understand. If you're a real man and you hold it down, you got your own car, you got your own crib, you got your own place, you get into the bag, okay? You live in a life of abundance, all right? You in your purpose, you chasing your dreams, you out here hustling, you get into it. Women are gonna fall into your world. If you like sports, they're gonna like sports. If you like games, they're gonna like games. You like Marvel, they're gonna like Marvel. Whatever you like, they're gonna like. Now, if you're handling your relationship properly, you should invest some of your time into what they like too. Like I used to watch How to Get Away with Murray, my, with my ex, and all that different type of stuff, right? But 
what? At the end of the day, women are going to invoke themselves into your world, whatever your program is. I didn't have, I told you guys this before, straight hood rats, okay? In the kitchen cooking and cleaning with an apron on, acting like housewives. Straight up, okay? I didn't have the bougiest of bougie girls, the richest of richy rich rich girls, okay? <laughs> Out here in the football games, in the front rows, yelling and screaming, drunk, going crazy, don't give a damn about sports, not even into sports personality types. Why? Because they just want to be a part of my world and part of my frame. So you don't have to adjust the women. See, betas think they have to adjust the women. And that's when women roll out all these rules. And, well, I ain't going to be with no guy who just wants us to dance. And you need to do this. And you need to do that. And you need to do that. And they keep trying to climb that ladder and climb that ladder and climb that ladder and match what she's telling them to do. Well, you don't have to do that. At the end of the day, you just need to set your rules. This is why I tell you, dudes, you need to have parameters. Too many dudes just go out here and they're happy to get some V-Box or have a girl around. No, you need to have parameters. This is what I do. And this is what I need you to do. And they're going to fall into it the vast majority of the time, okay? Y'all think baby girl not about to all of a sudden become a Packers fan? She don't even watch football. I guarantee you in a year to two years, she's going to be one of the biggest Packers fans. She's going to be one of the biggest Knicks fans. She's going to be sitting front row at the garden when we talk about some Kobe. She's going to be one of That's just natural. That's just how it naturally works. So this is why I tell you guys, a real man does whatever he wants. The woman is going to naturally fall into his frame. The only ones who worry about women saying real men don't play video games and women saying I don't do this and I don't want to do that and I expect the man to take me here and there and everywhere. I want to go there and they overly worry about that stuff. It's beta males. Because of like, well, the beta male mentality. It's because a thorough man already knows, listen, whatever I do, she's going to find a way to loop herself into my schedule. If I'm a busy man, she's going to take her one day. When I, guys, when I date, girls already know you get getting one day out of the week. Now, a girl will tell a dude who she considers a beta or who's acting in the energy of a beta, oh, you're not going to be able to keep me if you ain't got no time for me. I need attention. You're going to lose my attention. And he'll scramble to make extra days for her. I'll tell her straight up, listen, you're going to get one day, all right? But it's going to be a great day. We're going to have a lot of fun. But you're not getting more than that one day. And they don't buck. Why? Because they're going to break the rule for me because they're like, yo, this is a real man. This is a masculine man. Okay, and we do have fun on that one day. Okay, cool. If I only get one day, I'm just going to enjoy that one day. It's the same thing with video games. It's the same thing with sports. It's the same thing with everything else. If that's what you're willing to give and everything else that around you or evolves you, she loves and she likes, she's going to take that. Okay, I'll take that attention when I can get it. She only tells dudes who operate in beta energy, well, if you ain't giving me attention every day, I'm going to move on. If she's going to move on that easy, she just don't like you like that. I repeat, if she's going to move on that easy, she just don't like you like that. And a lot of you dudes with that mentality, y'all think she's like that with everybody. No, it's some dude who literally hitting her up once a week like me, and she don't care. It's some dude out there playing games as soon as he gets off his job, and she don't care. It's some dude out there watching sports, and she watching with him. She told you she don't like football. You guys got to understand. Women, uh, the only ones, I'm going to leave you guys with this gym. The only ones who could really break women out of being followers and really out of kind of doing whatever it is society is telling them to do is a man. Is a man. And you know why? Because a woman knows if she has a man, she's going to have someone to talk to about her day. She's going to have someone to comfort her when she's sad. She's going to have someone to give her advice. She's going to have a partner. She doesn't need to act like she agrees with everything women doing. She doesn't need to act like she don't see fallacies and stuff. She feels more free to be herself when she has a man. Because a lot of times women get with you and they're like, how are you so confident to be a nerd? Like a lot of girls don't even believe I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. Like I say all the time, I'm an ultra nerd, right? How do you have the confidence to do that? Because I don't care what people think. And they suck that energy off of you. This is why women like Alpha so much. They suck that confidence that I don't give a damn, that I'm going to do what I want to do. They suck that energy from you, and they apply it to their own lives. That's when you'll start to see them say, well, I don't agree with thought culture. That's when you'll start to see them say, well, I'm submissive. That's when you'll start to see them be themselves. Then you find out they do like anime. Then you find out they do like superhero flicks. Then you start to find out all different types of stuff about them, okay? Whatever that stuff may be, but a lot of the times women don't feel comfortable stepping outside of the norms of society until they have a man because, again, they need some type of social presence there. And so they don't feel comfortable really truly being themselves or disagreeing with whatever is going on or whatever is popular right now a lot of the time until they have a man. Because once they have a man, they know, or once they have a family, they know, okay, now I can be myself and I'm not going to be alone. I don't have to pretend or be quiet about things I disagree with or pretend to like things that I don't really like. Because now I can be myself because I got this man I'm going to be able to come home to every single day. <laughs> it's just that simple, guys. So don't take them that serious. 
don't take them that serious, especially online. Guys, 90% of the trends in the soft girl era this and the quiet girl era that, girls, are just they just want attention, man. They just saying stuff for attention. Again, they're trying to fit in with society. They're trying to gain followers. They're trying to boost their self-esteem. You can't take anything they say that serious. So, yes, women were capping about not liking video games, just like they be capping about not being online for hookups, just like they be capping about how they talk different, dress different, act different. It's like I tell you guys all the time, women are women, and it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, but understand, a real man does whatever he wants. And they make the rules for men they view as betas, and they break them for dudes they view as alphas. Be yourself. Do what you do. Do what you want to do. If she likes you, she will fall into your frame. I repeat, if she likes you, she will fall into your frame, all right? That's my message for today. I am Alex, and I am out. Peace.